in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. that you guys are here today because we are still learning about friendship but I'm going to teach you guys how to become a good friend. So to recap yesterday's adventure we learned that friendship is a bond between two people who admire each other and help each other through daily life. We learned that friendship is important because friends encourage each other, help each other make better life decisions, and also make each other happier. So I want to teach you guys how to be a good friend because when we learn a new skill we have to put it into motion and we have to practice it so we can perfect it. But before I teach you the ways on how to be a good friend, I want you guys to repeat and say a pledge after me. So let's put our hands on our chest and say the pledge. Today I am learning how to be a good friend. Jesus help me take this into my heart. Amen. Now that you said the pledge, let's learn the three ways to become a good friend. So the first way is by encouraging our friends. Our friends may be going through something really tough, so if we give them encouraging words and positive messages, it'll help them push through. This is supporting our friends, and this is really important in a friendship. The second way we can become a good friend is by listening to our friends. Sometimes all our friends need is someone to be there and listen to them so we can help them through their problems. And the third way to be a good friend is by showing love. Now, you can show love in a number of ways. Love can be shown by just giving someone a hug or checking up on somebody or maybe surprising your friend with a gift. There's many ways to show love. So to recap today's adventure, we learned that to be a good friend, we must encourage our friends, listen to our friends, and show our friends love. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson. See you guys later. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'm your workshop teacher, Kaylin, and I am back. And I'm happy to see you. Um, so we are still learning about showing love, but today we will focus on how to actually show love. 
Yesterday we learned that showing love is to give a part of your love to someone or something. And who doesn't want to show love? Like I love showing love to others. <laughs> but we learned that it's important because God wants us to. It may make others feel appreciated. And because you may turn someone's terrible day into an amazing one. And wouldn't that make you feel pretty amazing? <laughs> so today I want to show how to show love in action. And whenever we learn something new, we must put it in motion. Everyone, can you take your two hands and your 10 fingers and cross them and put this on your chest for me real quick? And let's say a little prayer. Today, I am learning how to show love. Jesus, help me take this into my heart. Amen. So we are going to talk about the four ways on how to show love. The first one is sharing and sharing is caring, you know, but one thing I cannot share is my food <laughs> because who wants to share their food? But when others share their food with me, I feel great. Like it feels like, oh, you're sharing your food. But sharing is definitely one of the ways you can show love. The second one is being in someone's presence. Like just being in your grandparents' presence or your siblings' presence or your parents' presence, it makes them feel amazing because some people may be lonely. The third one is helping others. I love to help others because why not? Like if someone needs help, it shows them that you aren't jealous. Like you'll do anything to help them succeed. And the last one is giving gifts not everyone loves to receive gifts but once in a while it isn't bad to just make a card or buy a candle for someone and give it to them to recap for our adventure today we show love by sharing being in someone's presence helping others and giving gifts see you tomorrow everyone bye Hey y'all, it's your workshop teacher Sierra, and I'm happy to see everyone back again today. Um, we're still learning about helping others, and today we'll just focus on um, how we can actually help others. Yesterday we learned what helping others is, what it means, and why it's important. Um, just a little recap, it's important because it can change someone's life for the better, and it's the right thing to do. Today, I want to show you all how we can actually help others, other than the last example of just giving. When we learn something new, we want to put it into motion. So everyone put your hands over your chest and say, today, I am learning how to help others. Jesus, help me take this into my heart. Amen. All right, the first way um, we can help others is by giving, um, which could vary many different ways, but I wanna to touch on giving someone your time. Um, giving them your time can help other people by just you being around them could actually like brighten someone else's day. The second way we could uh, help others is by putting in effort. So for an example, my mom is always on us to do the dishes, so we could actually help her with doing our chores and doing the dishes. Um, the third way we can show and help others is by showing attention, which could be talking to them, making sure they're okay. Um, you never know, like I said, what someone else is going through. Um, and the last way we can help others is by praying for them. Um, this goes a lot of ways because you could ask God to like help them spiritually, mentally, physically, all that. It's all in his hands and we just want to call on the Lord to help other people. Um, so to recap our adventure today, we'll sh we can show love by giving someone your time, putting in effort, and doing your job like 100%, and giving some love and attention, and also by praying for them. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Hey guys, this is your workshop teacher Veronica and I'm so excited to see you all here again today. We're still going to talk about identity. Today I'll show you guys how to put identity into action. Yesterday we learned that identity is like a character and it means 
that it's who you are, it's what you think about yourself, and, way that, and it's the way that others in the world view you. Today I'll show you guys how to put identity into action because whenever you learn something new, you put it into motion. So, the first way that you can put identity into action is walking in confidence. And by that, I mean walking in um, confidence knowing who made you and that you have a purpose and that you're here for a reason. Knowing that God loves you and that you can show others his love wherever you go. Number two, you can put identity into action by walking in faith. And by that, I mean um, trusting God no matter what happens, no matter what circumstance you're in, always trusting that God's got your back and that he loves you. And number three, um, you can put identity into action by walking in love. Um, no matter what anyone does to you, no matter what anyone tells you, or whatever you're mad or sad, always show love because God is love, First John 4, 8. And because he loves you, you need to show love to others. So for a recap of today, you can walk in identity by walking in faith, confidence, and love. And it's important because it's the best way to show that you are Jesus' child, showing others how much, um, how much confidence, how much faith, how much love you have in your life. Others are going to see you as someone different, and they'll probably want to know why. Why, why is that person always confident? Why is that person always walking in faith knowing that things are going to be okay? And showing love to everyone because you have Jesus on your side. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Welcome back, Destiny's Kids. It's your workshop teacher, Jeremy. I'm happy to see y'all again today. So we still learning about encouragement. Today we're going to be learning about encouraging someone. So listen. Everybody put their hand on their chest and say, today I'm learning how to encourage someone. Jesus, help me take this into my heart. Amen. The first way to encourage somebody is by telling them not to give up. Second way is by telling someone they have what it takes. The third way is to tell them what they mean to you. So to recap our adventure today, we can encourage someone by telling them not to give up. Telling them they have what it takes and telling them what they mean to you. Until next time, Destiny Kids. We're on the right track oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you Spaces for wide